We're playing against someone with a 484 ELO. This is really the, the, if we lose this one, we're pivoting. This is Japan. This is not Japan. This is Taiwan. <laughs> but it looks like a part of Taiwan we don't go to often. I'm gonna say we're like down here. Hey! This is Iceland. You don't even have to look at it. I know you're like, how could you feel comfortable guessing so fast? Here's the thing, it's either Iceland or it's the Faroe Islands, but... Or it's Nook, Greenland. That's, that's downtown Nook, man! That's fine. Gotta go back to playing my game. Uh, yellow license plates. Gate heavy. It's an... It's a part of Europe that's not part of the EU. Actually, it's Israel. <laughs> My mistake. I thought it was Romania for a minute, but... They're in Eurovision, so kind of correct. Wait, really? Israel's in Eurovision? But how? And Australia? Well, Australia's kind of like, is weird, right? Like, doesn't Australia play in, uh, they play in the Asian football championship because they're just too good for the Oceanic one? That might just be a lie. Like, I might have just made that up, but I feel like that's right. No, that's true. Oh, I told you, I know everything about soccer. Are we in, are we in the Netherlands? DNA spray? Get me out of here, man! Put me in Amsterdam. Oh, what the heck is... Can, can I get somebody from the Netherlands to tell me what that sign is? I do not want a DNA spray when I'm in downtown Amsterdam. Unless I'm getting paid. Yellow license plates. Not Tunisia? It's, uh, I'm gonna say this is J Jordan, but like on the border with Israel, more or less. Kind of. It's not bad. You could walk that distance if you had to. It's a chemical that tracks shoplifters. Really? A chemical that tracks shoplifters. Like, it's not like you spray it on somebody and you can tell if they stole something. I don't know this one, and I'm scared. I think this is Hungary. I saw something that said delicatessen. That seems like it could be Hungarian to me. Why are you guessing so damn fast, man? Items are chipped and you go through gates. If the gates go off, the sprays go off. And what happens when you get sprayed? Your DNA gets registered? What the hell? It changes your DNA. <laughs> no. Come on, man. Come on, be honest with me. This is New Zealand, by the way. I only want to hear from people who live in the Netherlands. Because here's... I've, I've never stolen anything from a store except for like two grapes at the grocery store when I was like three years old. But... Those gates... Like the metal detectors go off with false positives like all the time. They go off so often, people don't even stop for them anymore here. There was like a, like a decade-long period where people... Uh, would like, anytime one of them went off, you would like look and be like, what's going on? Now when they go off, you go, it's probably just, they just go off sometimes.
There is an r slash Amsterdam post about it. What the heck? We have those signs in Denmark too? I just don't... I, what is the spray? <laughs> Hold on, we're in Africa. Look at your car. Now back to me, now back to your car. Southern Hemisphere. Okay, I mean, if you're going to force my hand on this one... I, I just go straight for Northern South Africa. Yeah, good guess. That was Brazil. It's just paint so cops can see that you stole. <clears throat> so if you... But then they never have false positives. Because, like, it just seems like I would be... Definitely, like, at least a few times I would have been sprayed with paint in my life for no good reason. We're in Spain. Yeah, what's the DNA part? I'm just, I'm just trying to understand here. The spray has DNA. So like DNA tests, it's accurate. But they're spraying you with DNA that, that they're then using as evidence that makes you guilty. It's like they're saying like, of course he's guilty. Look at, we've, he's got the DNA on him, but the DNA is getting sprayed on him by the metal detectors. I don't know where we are at all. I'm going to say that we're here. Here? We're here? Why are you guessing so damn fast, man? It sounds stupid when it's explained like that. Well, I'm just trying, because it's, look, I'm... I'm trying to resist the notion to just slip into the idea that it really sounds like if the metal detector goes off, you're being sprayed with stuff that then they say makes you guilty because you got sprayed with it, but it's contingent on the metal detector working properly the first time. I don't actually know if this is Turkey, by the way. It's Turkey? I'm insane? We just won. It doesn't make you guilty by itself. The security sprays artificial DNA on you. <laughs> okay, hold on. We won. I got to I got to look at my phone for a moment. Dutch DNA spray shop lifting. A spray of DNA to keep the robbers away. When the McDonald's down from City Hall here was burglarized a few years ago, its managers decided they needed a new security system. It was just about that time that police officers were offering something totally different they thought would stem the rising tide of robberies that occurred in this rough-and-tumble port city of Rotterdam. It's a device that sprays you with... Since the new system involved an employee activated device that sprays a fine barely visible mist laced with synthetic dna to cover anyone in its path i love this covers anyone in his path including criminals which is a very interesting way of uh also saying that the majority of people that it covers with synthetic dna are just minding their own damn business Simultaneously alerts the police that there is a crime in progress. The mist, visible only under ultraviolet light, carries DNA markers particular to the location, enabling the police to match the burglar with the place burgled. Ah! Oh! So if there is a shoplifting event, an employee hits a button, everybody gets sprayed with digital cum, and then later, the police can shine like a black light and be like, I see the golden arches on there. You stole like an Egg McMuffin. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, more sense. What I was thinking is the, the way that I was interpreting it is that if you ever walked into a store and the metal detector went off 
it would instantly and with no due process whatsoever spray you with artificial DNA that later would be used against you in a court of law. So if you were just walking into like Canadian Tire and the, the machine was on the fritz, it would go like pssst. And then they would be like, well, he's covered in the DNA, so obviously he stole something. Anyway. Great gameplay. I'm, I just want to banter, okay? We won that one anyway. That was, that was new to me. I learned something today. Now every time I see DNA spray, I will be like, okay, we're in the Netherlands. Or at your mom's house. We're in Madagascar. I'm not even taking a chance here, man. This is Madagascar. Whoa, uh, do you see the transitions here? Ooh. I mean, that's a really good guess. He's back, baby. This is uh, Japan. I'm comfortable with that, but I'm just gonna... No, it's Japan. And I'm gonna take a little guess. I think we're slightly north of Tokyo. Yep, mm, pretty close. <laughs> I meant slightly southwest. We have a snorkel. We're in Kenya. Or the south of France. Based on this field. We're in the damn Windows XP <laughs> background. <laughs> Default Windows XP background. That was a great start. Okay. I'll take my 13 points. Man, that guy's got to get way better at stream sniping. Um, I don't see anything. Okay, we're free. Where was it last time? It was Ukraine, right? Last time we had a camera glitch. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. We should just, like, you know, keep it under advisement. I would just like to see a sign. I would like to open up my eyes and see this sign. Life is demanding without understanding. See, I don't make fun of Sweden. You guys have produced some of the greatest pop music in history. I have no clue where we are, by the way. Northern Argentina? Oh, what? I'm insane? Hit me, baby, one more time. Sweden produced. Oops, I did it again. Sweden produced. All those Backstreet Boys songs? Sweden produced. And yet, strangely, Swedish House Mafia from South Cincinnati. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking we're in Japan. It's a fairly sensible guess. Let's, let's just send it. Plus two. Thank you. I wonder if I could remember the playlist of my of the 2000s rock ride I had today. They definitely played Bon Jovi's Have a Nice Day. Which, if you're going to play a Bon Jovi song from the 2000s, man, at least make it It's My Life, which is, like, not good, but at least it's, like, better than Have a Nice Day. They played Sugar, We're Going Down. And this ain't a scene. It's an arms race by Fallout Boy. When I'm Gone by Three Doors Down. Teenage Dirtbag by Weedus. Let me here. Um, 
The Girl All the Bad Guys Want by Bowling for Soup. Move Along by the All-American Rejects. I don't know, I might be missing one, but I feel like I, I got them all almost. Strong playlist? I was embarrassed by how much I was feeling it, honestly. It's My Life was also produced by Sweden? What are they putting in the in the water over there that makes them make such good uh, such good hooks, man? Okay, it's the city of Atlanta. Why are you throwing? We could have had a good game. They're a hit factory, my brother in Christ. All right, I would be. You're not wrong. The new Motown is called Hammersvik. It's located... Sorry, I want to do this in my New York Times voice. There's a new Motown, only this time it's not in Detroit. It's in the small city of Hammersburg on the western coast of Sweden. A husband and wife team, Jens Lechman and Ingrid Bergman, have been producing... Under the radar, some of pop music's biggest hits of the last 15 years. Odds are, if you've ever touched the volume dial on your radio, you've heard something that their DNA is all over. For example, did you know that they co-wrote Smoking Out the Window by the legendary Grammy-winning duo Silk Sonic, consisting of pop star Bruno Mars and cool guy Anderson Pock? Okay, sorry. Keep it. Play again. We won that. And coming up next uh, with a cut from <clears throat> coming up next with a cut from his new album, Sting. Take us away. I don't know this. Portuguese roofs, South America. You know what? I always think about there's something about Mary. Have you been to Santiago, Chile? Twice last year. Put me north of Santiago. <clears throat> you can hit me with all the question marks you want. It's a good movie. Are we allowed to guess in chat? By all means, I... I he's not there. I don't... Uh, Glance during the game, but as soon as I guess, I glance. So feel free to to type your answers in chat. Even if I did glance, if I did it, people always do like insane stuff. Hold on, this is alt paper carton. That's where you put your paper. That's like. It wears the long sleeve shirts with the hole cut out for the thumbs. This is uh, Vienna, just outside of Vienna. Um, come on, man. He guessed that. He's not AFK. You know what that means. We can pay out the believers if we win. If we win. This is uh, Hungary, right? Or is it Bulgaria? They only have snow in Bulgaria. But I'll be honest with you, this shit looks like Norwegian. What was I talking about a second ago? Oh, like, I will see, like, the Hungarian flag, and then I'll guess Hungary, and people will be like, nah, dude, this is definitely, like, like, this is Savannah, Georgia. I live here. Now, the meta for this is there's only, like, one country in GeoGuessr with snow on the ground, and it actually, I, it is... Bulgaria or Hungary. It's one of the two. Even though this shit looks so much like Iceland. <laughs> Can I see the Icelandic letters? No, this is not Iceland, probably. Can I see an Icelandic letter, please? Smark it. I, this... I mean, it looks, it looks Baltic, man. It looks Nordic. I cannot guess that this is, I, this is Lithuania. I cannot guess that this is Bulgaria. Okay, fair enough. 
So that every rule is made to be broken. This is the exception that proves the rule. Bulgaria is not the only country with snow in GeoGuessr. Doubled letters equals Finland. Uh, excuse me, that's a bad heuristic. If you see a doubled A or a doubled O and a bicycle and a DNA spray, I didn't mention the country, but I think you know where we are. I have no clue. Could this be Romania? Could this be... Slovenia? Or, or Albania? Or... I don't think it's Serbia. Could be Croatia. I just need more. There's a Lidl here. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Must be pretty popular. Slovakia. Let's go. Or is S... No, SK's got to be Slovakia. Put me... Put me right here. You've named every country. Um, I didn't name Canada. Pretty sure this isn't Canada, although I'll be honest. It does kind of look like we're on Gaglardi Way. I, I hate to tell you this. I'm paying out the believers. They made two guesses. They were not AFK. They're just not very good. <laughs> Not, I mean, it, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere. It's not BM. I'm trying to protect the integrity of the casino. Will you change your avatar when you reach platinum? That's actually a great idea. We should make, when we reach Platinum, we should make our avatar like me, but like coated in silver metal, like Metal Mario, just to intimidate the people we're going up against. So this looks like Canada or the United States of America or England. But I really feel like this is more American than even Canadian. For sale, 802-106 Prospect Street. Main Street and Prospect Street. This is America. And I, I, I actually don't know. I'm just going to put us in Michigan. That makes more sense. That one hurt. Of course, the one time we play an American, we're in America, right off the bat. They, every, here's my impression of, it, of every American playing GeoGuessr. How does he not know that that area code is the southern part of Albuquerque? By the way, we're in Ghana. That's Canton, Ohio! Anytime you see a 713 area code, that's the northeastern portion of Canton, Ohio. How does he not know that? Right back in it. Look at this. Getting meted. This is Serbia. This is Greece. Put me right there. Why do you know so much about Ohio? That place was called Biraroni. That's so good. Um, I know so much about Ohio because I read the Guided by Voices. Uh, biography. I believe it's called Hunting Ghosts, something like that. So I know everything there is to know about Dayton, Ohio. Drive sober or get pulled over. I mean, that just seems sensible. Office of EMS. DPS.gov.mp E EMS day, EMSC day, have two ways out. Terminal, commuter terminal, down. Where the hell are we, man? 
Give me a little bit more than this. I think we're in New Zealand. But you know what? The signs were like filled in by content aware. This is New Zealand. Don't don't screw it up. We're on Big Island. That was Saipan. I mean, honestly, just for them to get that, that's a great guess. You got to give them some credit. I don't know why their ELO is in the 600s. It seems like they're a good gamer. Maybe you're smurfing or whatever. That's fine. It happens. You're telling me we're on the Marinera Islands? Uh, this person's ELO is 1,000 plus. And their avatar is literally what I wanted my avatar to be if I hit platinum. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I think... Oh, son of a... I don't... It, it's Indonesia with more of a... Chinese influence, maybe up near Medan. All right, it's actually right next to Singapore. John Geoguesser. How did I end up against this person, man? It's Europe. I've heard of it. That's Norway. That was a Norwegian character. I'm gonna say we're in Oslo. That's an Icelandic character. Oh my god. It's only available in Iceland. Ugh. I thought that that Icelandic O was inherited from Norwegian. Hold on, we're still hanging. This is Belgium. I know where Utrecht is. It's uh... Pretty big city. It's up here somewhere. Yeah, it's around there. <laughs> so it's in the Netherlands, okay. Just live till you get to like 10 times damage and then get a lucky one. That's the way you play this, man. That's the way you play this. Tunisia? Let me see this billboard. Oh, okay, the billboard was in Cyrillic. We got a chance. Is there a luggage rack on the car? No. It's dry, though. Um, I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say southern Ukraine. All right. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? If you're getting... You know what? Good, good game. Good game. Have a great rest of your night. I think you might be a little bit better at GeoGuessr than me. That's, prob that's the superstar TikToker who just smashes his space bar every single time. Why am I why am I playing against this person? I don't understand. There's got to be more people playing GeoGuessr. I've been losing all damn day. How how do I well actually I've been pretty close to 50-50 I think, but because of the way the human mind works, 50-50 feels like like 10-90. It's so you never get to platinum. Ain't that the truth, man? Mr. GeoGuessr trying to keep me down. Get back here. You know this is the kind of truck with the top level domain on it. I also, I, just being honest, I have no clue where we are, but it, it's Europe. It's EU. It's EU. Well, that's not great. I would say... Do me a favor, put me in, um, put me in Croatia, but close to the rest of Europe. Okay. It's not that bad. I can live with that. What? My game, my game, my game. Okay, this is TN. I'm gonna guess that we're in Dragon Ball Z. I guess that we're in Tunisia. Let's say this is Sfax. That's my bad. It was actually Suze, as you as you would know if you live there.
A little more like sus. No, I, they didn't even have time to Google that, I think. Okay, Europe. Close to a, a creek. Narrows it down. You know what? Oh, wait, yellow license plate on the front. You got me, you got me thinking Belgium. You got me thinking that we are in Brussels. G-O, you really got me now. You got me thinking we're in Brussels. You really got me. Maybe we're in Antwerp? It seems like there's a lot of water there. This is the Netherlands? You know what? You're right. Yellow license plates. That's the, that's the Netherlands. Absolutely true. That's a rookie mistake. What? That's Eastern Rotterdam, man. That's where the DNA spray is. Don't tell me the bike lanes are a dead giveaway. You know how the people from the Netherlands are, be, are like, um, hold on, I got to look at this for a second. People from the Netherlands be like, you can tell it's the Netherlands because the bike lanes are uh, 20 feet wide. And in Belgium, they're only 17 and a half feet wide. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm thinking we're in Russia. I'm going to say that this is what Moscow looks like. I can tell from the pixels. I don't know why I'm clicking. Just like to feel like I'm going fast, doing something. <laughs> That's tough. Keep left? Okay, I get it. You're playing the meta. I mean, they say keep left. This is Australia. Right there. Oh, that's such a flex guess. To guess the middle of the Pacific Ocean, because you know it doesn't matter. Have some respect. That's like being up like 4-0 in a game of hockey. Then you get a penalty shot and you just like ice the puck. I'm going to make you pay for that one. You want to play the meta game? Let's play the meta game. I'm going to guess we're in the southern hemisphere. I'm going to guess we're in South America. No. Yes. That I mean the sign looks South American. Why is it on that side of the road? Look at the sun. I'm going to guess we're in the Southern Hemisphere. But why does it... Why does it have Northern Hemisphere trees if it's in the Southern Hemisphere? Like, why does this look like Southern Ontario? Agua de la Barranca? I'm willing to make a guess that this is Rodondopolis. No way that's tropical. What what are the tropics? Ooh, somebody doesn't know sun meta. Northern Argentina. See, I went too far southern with southern Brazil. I should have gone more north, like northern Argentina. Please, no parking. Vehicle access must be welcome at all times. Okay, somebody's a little high maintenance. People who drive, like, once a month, be like, uh, can you not park there? I need to get out. Unsuitable for heavy goods vehicles. Do you ever think about how many signs, what the percentages of signs telling you things you can't do versus things you can do? Like you never see a sign that's like loitering permitted here. It's always like trespassers will be shot on sight. 
Because of the speed of your guess, I am going to guess between Ecuador and Colombia. Oh, it's Mexico City and you live there. Okay. I guess I'll be dead then. Still alive? How, how did he get that? I'm not saying he cheated because it was so fast, but how did he get that? We had 71% belief. That hurts. You see a lot of signs that say come in. Well, I used to see signs like that on stores, but now every store just has signs of like shit you can't do. We are oh, Hodor the hero, by the way. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, Hodor. Hodor to you as well. What? Um, like every store is like, oh, we don't take cash anymore. Oh, the bathroom's for customers only. Uh, oh, please don't take your shirt off in the store. Oh, here's a photo of like a bald guy. Um, please don't let him into our store. He keeps taking his shirt off and trying to use the bathroom without buying anything. I don't, I have no concept of where we are. I'm going to say we're in Brazil. I didn't guess. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we would have still lost the same amount of points, I think. We got lucky on that one. Oh, man. Okay, this is Finland. I mean, you just don't even think about it. Just place me. In Sweden. <laughs> oh, man. NLY? It could be Sweden. Oh, so well, how did you get that? There was nothing. This is genuinely Norway, and I'm. This is not a meme. These are Norwegian roads. I would recognize them anywhere. It starts now. This is uh, Taiwan. You can tell from the striped light poles and curbs. But you know, anytime you're playing, a, this is not Taiwan. This is Argentina. AG, Argentina, AG, Buenos Aires, AG. This is SG, doesn't it? Pay out the doubters on that one. I think there's enough GeoGuessr for today. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs>